Hi, welcome to Shepherd's Week in Review. So we showed you dresses. Hey, spring is around the corner. You're gonna love these from Carré Noir. Wardrobe Wednesday was about graphic tees that add fun to fashion. Fashion Friday, budding styles. Again, all about spring. And on Coffee Talk, Marlene and Kathy meet with Denise Smeaton. Enjoy the week and shop the collections up here. Thinking of going south? Bring your sunglasses and we have the perfect dresses for you. From Carré Noir, Montreal-based designer, their sun and travel dresses. And we love them because they're lots of color, very comfortable, and many of them, most of them have a sleeve like this on Lori, beautiful blue, but the sleeve is very comfortable because mm -hmm. it's a ribbed uh, fabric, so it stretches and then the dress is all linen. And I love this mineral wash. It makes mm -hmm. it very earthy, has that little fleck of cream in it. This is the sleeveless version. Bra friendly. Mm -hmm. We love the length, right? A lot yes. of women love this length. It's full. It, you know, it goes away from the body, but mm -hmm. it's got a lot of swing to it. So it, it has that ribbed insert as well at the bust line, on the sides under the arms, and all throughout the back as well down to the waist. Now we're shepherds, so we love to accessorize perfect for you know the cooler evenings or if you're air conditioned it works as a shawl also here's the dress in the coral shade oh. great great color mm -hmm. trend for the season we have found the perfect scarf it was like perfect mm -hmm. and again a statement earring Lori is a size 10 12 mm -hmm. and she's in the larges yes. so you know it you, you might have to go up a size but look at the fit it's beautiful the sizes are available from small to XXL mm -hmm. okay. so it probably takes you up to a 16 mm -hmm. liking again we talked about the length and pockets so we mm -hmm. have this little pouch pocket on one side and there's a little secret pocket on the other side it is in fact called Marlene the secret pocket linen dress retails at 155 wanted to show you again in the coral color we have the sleeveless version here on Rosa this is the dress that she's just purchased wasn't sure what color to buy we put her in this it's sunlight it's it's vibrant it's fun again just put on a great earring with that a sandal even even a sneaker would look fabulous with this and and rosa's a pear shape yes. so again it, it's very flattering mm -hmm. on her it does not it just flows away underneath the bust i love that it's bra friendly mm -hmm. and of course it's sensational in that color here you are in the brown we don't yes. often see brown uh -huh. in dresses but beautiful tone especially for all those redheads and blondes it's kind of a taupey brown. Yeah, would you and say? you see the fleck in there, but notice down at the bottom, you see that little insert mm -hmm. of the striped linen. Again, you see the ribbing around the neck and the sleeve yes. really gives you the comfort. Again, sort of contours uh, on the bust and then flows out from the body. Mm -hmm. So it's a little funky. Loving the mineral wash has kind of a boho show, boho chic look. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, it's a hundred and fifty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. And there's the there's the pocket, the there's secret the pocket, secret <laughs> pocket. So is, is same kind of sizing here. Uh, is, size is small to XXL. I'm wearing the size large. Love it with again just a sandal, a long necklace, and here is the sleeveless version in the brown that has kind of that taupey shade. And again, um, bra friendly. Oh, Which it, makes isn't that it, perfect? Yeah. It's very important. You see here the knitted insert under the arm, which again makes it conform to your shape and your body. Carrie Noir from Montreal have done a fantastic job mm -hmm. on these dresses. So they come sleeveless or with a sleeve and in three colors. The other thing they've done brilliantly is this hooded, it's really a cotton, a cotton blend, cotton little blend. Mm -hmm. hooded dress. It's yes. like the, the hoodie jacket, but now you've got a dress. Yes, so here's Lorraine wearing it in the turquoise color. She's a size six, four six. She's wearing the size uh, large. Medium, uh, I medium, think. Medium, pardon yeah. me. And Geneva stands just over five foot tall, size medium as well in the coral. So we've, we've uh, yanked up the sleeve on her a little bit, um, turned it up because she's a rounded hourglass uh, that's how she likes to wear it love the zipper detail the um, um, the length of it is just great on exactly. her as well for yeah. petite and uh, it has great seaming at the back of it here I am oh I love it we just added a super mm -hmm. super legging yes uh, in the same colors wear it with a running shoe or a sandal again it's hundred and fifty dollars from Carrie Noir small to extra extra large and what size are you wearing here, Elaine? I'm wearing the size large. And you're typically a 10, 12. Yes. So, you know, listen, we don't look at sizes. Mm -hmm. You have to get what fits with. We wanted to tell you that it is, 
you need to upsize a little bit. So uh, thank you for joining us on our designer spotlight, spotlighting Carrie Noir. And available in store and online shepherdsfashions.com worldwide. Welcome to Shepherd's Wardrobe Wednesday. Today we're talking about the graphic tee. You're seeing it all over the magazines. Mm -hmm. They're t-shirts with personality. And embellishments it's as well. They've they're got sweet. They're, they're, sweet. Sweet. they're 3D. <laughs> yes. So Teresa's showing us the first one. It's the Camel Sequin Tee, $109.00. And it's got, yeah, lots of beautiful sequins, yeah. the tassels. Yeah, it really works. And I love it. We teamed it up with this gaucho pant in a ponte. It's $90. And mm -hmm. again, very, very on trend. Perfect for the spring season. What metropolis are you going to? Oh, well, this is New York. You're in New York. Mm -hmm. So these t-shirts are $89, Marlene. They're a cropped. They're a boxier fit. This is why you can manipulate and wear them any kind of way. For example, if you wanted to do a little French tuck or a half tuck, mm. we're in here with a linen pant, which is new to us. And then you can roll up the sleeve as well, showcase a little more of the arm there. It's very spring forward kind of look. I love that linen pant, the wide, yes. longer pant. And it's um, a high I rise exactly too. and a drawstring mm -hmm. so this one of course is from london the tower of london and it's raining of course in london and linda now linda is wearing the extra large mm -hmm. and she's like a a 12 uh, you were wearing a medium or a large yes. but this one with this beautiful sunbeam yellow coat and the perfect plaid pant because it has a little lemon um, line in that plaid. Yes, a little limoncello, right? Mm -hmm. So the pant is from up, the uh, coat is from Ilse Jacobson. Love what Geneva did here with her Parisian tea. So it's the blazer from Joseph Ripkoff that she's done. And then she's thinking she could wear this to work, right? Why not? Exactly. I love it. And she's wearing the medium mm -hmm. and she's really like a size six. So, you know, you might have to go up a size here, but don't sure. fret over that. Exactly. Get that it fits you because you want to tuck it in or you want to leave it out. That's totally up to your style. Totally up to you. And then this is the last tee that we have. Girl with dog, $119 on Linda. Cute with the red hat, tying it in with the red Elsa Jacobson coat. Walking the dog. Walking the dog. We'll keep you young. Yes, and exactly. In and in shape. <laughs> um, and again, worn with this great crop trouser mm. um, in black and white. So there you can see what this t-shirt looks like. And here it is on Teresa. And Teresa's wearing larges. Mm -hmm. And she's normally like a 10, 12. Exactly. So we hope you enjoyed our graphic tees. Um, white background, and they're available at shepherdsfashions.com or here at our store in the train yards in Ottawa. Great price points, and again, typically available in sizes small to XL. Shepherd's Fashion Friday, where we think spring is in the air, mm -hmm. and we've got a great lineup of items that you can wear now, or very shortly, or going to a special occasion, which is really nice. From top to toe, Marlene, top to toe. Some great yes. shoes. But we are starting off with the ruffle sleeve shirt dress on Teresa. Hey, we're going outside because... Look at the color. Yes. It's beautiful in this coral. Mm -hmm. And we you teamed it up with a great pant, mm -hmm. which is super. Yes. Um, nice, strong earring, but look at the line on this dress and it's like it's a cotton blend but here you can wear it as a dress it really just is on its own bare dress. legs yeah and it's nice with a flat shoe a flat mm -hmm. sandal yeah so you see a little bit of leg there and again the and teresa teresa is about five five i guess mm -hmm. yes. hovering around the kneecap and uh, -huh. uh you know it's and now you're wearing it but mm -hmm. more like a in the beige but more like a like, duster like a duster mm -hmm. so it does come in two colors it's 149 dollars. it's cotton based it's canadian design so i'm wearing it with a jean you're going to see a lot of our pieces styled up two ways so this is a second way to style it up in fact the third really we did it with a little one of our little uh, graphic tees yeah, personality tees right yes mm -hmm. again just a nice little white tee that's got a little bit of personality on it so. and nydj jeans that are coming mm. back to shepherds in a big way now they are there will be april showers so this is why we have the ilse jacobson hooded raincoat this is in the milk cream color so that soft neutral pop it with a scarf with an accessory it's a gorgeous coat completely waterproof and it comes in some great colors mm -hmm. removable hood yes. um but it has all the bells and whistles of the perfect 
raincoat for uh, a Canadian or a North American uh, rain. And here it is in a print. Yes. Uh -huh. So this is a beautiful paisley print. And really, there's so many colors in this. There's yellows and the greens. Look at them. And the um, and here's the, the flat pinks. pocket, eh? So the pocket has a little flap over it. Yeah. Just one of the bells and whistles in it. This is a little more expensive than the other pieces because of the paisley. Now, we are in the abstract top from Nally Millie going back to denim again from NYDJ. This is a poly rayon blend, $150. Looks great on Linda. Really? Oh. Covers the tummy again, yeah. fit it around the bust, and then just out. Now, for those of you who are looking for things, and we've been asked for show us things that are a little bit more fitted to the body. Deborah is showcasing this beautifully. She is a petite, mm -hmm. like a size two, in about five, two or three, yes, and looks great with a sweater. Here you are in the same sweater, yes, and this is a striped uh, co cotton sweater, it's cotton blend, uh -huh. it's 149. And this stripe in it has a little bit of metallic to it, yes, and but I love the pants. The striped Tell pants, me about it. new from Carin Noir, it is linen, it has the adjustable waistband, it's a nice long length. But I'm five foot nine, and I'm wearing it with a running shoe, so even if you're shorter. You can so, still yep. wear it. Look for young Deborah. Uh -huh. So this is a great top from Joseph Ribkoff. Mm -hmm. Again, does everything perfectly. I love the elbow sleeve. It's just the perfect round neck, asymmetrical hemline there, black and white. So you can wear this with a black pant or a white pant. Wide pant, as we have shown it here, with that wide leg um, sort of cropped pant. It's new from up. It's called the Ponte Gaucho Pant. But if you want to give it a really fun look, do the wide leg face pant. If you, also yeah, from Joseph You can Kof. see there's actually faces in that print. Yeah, it's like a little yeah. illustration, Joseph right? Joseph Canadian made, little mm -hmm. pop necklace with the red and black. There's nothing like a wide leg pant for flow and motion. Yeah, you know. and Teresa's five six. Yes. she's like a size 10, mm -hmm. 12. Yeah, and um, but it's a, now here's a lovely. This is this is a style of dress you're seeing in a lot of the magazines. A lot of the yes. movie stars are wearing it. That beautiful kind of very feminine floral V-neck dress, mm -hmm. um, and it's two hundred and forty four dollars high low. Now Hoda's very petite. Eh? She's also what five two. Five two. She's a pear shape. So mm -hmm. so it, the sleeve is perfect for her. Uh, beautiful bust line on this waistline of course accentuated and it just drapes over mm. that uh the hip line now here's a whole different look isn't yes. this is very sophisticated sort of grace kelly-ish looking the top is it's a dress but the top is in a jersey and this beautiful skirt this is a navy yes. navy and white with the self belt mixed media nice length they almost like a t length mm -hmm. on her the pearls are perfect and they work for whatever age group you are same similar style of dress with a jersey on top and the floral bottom one piece dressing rosa who's also a pear shape yes again navy based here with this lovely um beautiful floral print look at the colors mm -hmm. in there very painterly prints the sleeve too you yes. like to say here's another dress with a sleeve i am in love with this to try it is to love it. The cross seam floral dress, $274. It's a bonded fabric and it is fully lined. They sort of call this the scuba print. So it's, yes. it, it, there's a lot of stretch to it, feels good on. It doesn't wrinkle whatsoever, right? Yay. This is a great dress for a summer wedding or mm -hmm. you know anniversary or one some kind of celebration. Now here we have Lori in, again, this is a, a dress yes. from this is a new designer that we're starting to carry. Mm -hmm. I love this again, it has that T length uh, with a little sleeve and the belt or yeah. unbelted. Right, Lori prefer because she's more of a rectangle shape, she prefers it without the belt. Mm -hmm. It's already, oh, and then there is the skirt as well. So I paired this with the Foxcroft shirt, my favorite, the Taylor shirt. Um, so the skirt is $206, quite nice. Mm, and then, nice. This is great. You know, a lot of people, they don't want to wear a high heel, mm -hmm. so they don't want to wear a dress as much. So you can wear a pant where you can wear a flatter shoe, and this is a great jacket to take you to a special occasion. Beautiful print in the navy, rich navy, and the off-white teamed up with the perfect little cami underneath it. But Linda looks sensational with a nice yes. strand of pearls. And these are the shoes she's wearing. They're uh, from Beauty Feel, which is made in uh, Israel. They're the most comfortable pair of shoes that you can wear. These you can wear at a wedding and mm -hmm. stay in them all day. Little kitten heel for $379. Is this navy, but also comes in black. We have a beautiful selection of beauty feel. Oh, yes, we do. Now, you're going to see the jacket done completely differently. Uh, well, same color scheme, right? Because mm -hmm. it's done with the indigo jean from NYDJ, the Taylor shirt again. 
And you can take your, your, your jacket out and wear it on the daily, not just for that special occasion. That's what we like to do, wear yes. things in all kinds of different ways. So thank you for joining us, but you know, we have a special question. We're wondering, is this virus keeping you at home? How has it affected your life? Right. So what we would like to do is do more online presentations, some Facebook Lives and more posts and so on to keep you engaged and show you, of course, all of the wonderful delectable fashion coming for spring. Keep you entertained. Yes. So thank you for joining us at Shepherd's Fashions here at the train yards in Ottawa or Shepherd's Fashions. Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. We dash down the dandy with you today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you have such a wonderful story to share. Well, let, let's start by, you know, we're having dinner. Denise, her sister, Christine, Christine yeah. yes, who lives in Huntsville. Mm -hmm. My husband and uh, I are having dinner with them. And so chit chat, chit chat, or maybe it was breakfast. Chit chat, chit chat. So, you know, I'm, I'm, her sister Christine had just moved to Huntsville. So she was talking about the move. And then I got my sister to come. So Denise, oh, and Denise, you're from Ottawa. Yes, I'm from Ottawa. I said, so what do you do? And she said, I'm a cemeterian. <laughs> Question mark, question and mark. Like, yes. Well, that's got me curious. So what is a cemeterian? So we wanted Denise to come in today to join us for Coffee Talk because her story is so interesting. Yes. You know how in life we think maybe we're going to do this and we end up doing that, but it makes us so much more happy than what we thought we were going to do. So yes. that's what Denise's story is all about. So can you first though describe what a cemeterian is for us? So a cemeterian is a person who either through prearrangement or um, at the time of need manages the cemetery plans in the cemetery. Okay. So it involves the memorial marker, it involves the plot, it involves urns, it involves internment fees, and all of the, that kind of arrangement. All of the plans all we need to, we all need to make. Yeah. We all need to make. Now you said there's other explanations or other titles for that that might be a little bit more familiar yes. with. So um, in today's jargon, sometimes we're known as family services, family uh, directors, um, not a funeral director, not a funeral director. cemetery work. Um, also, in my particular field position, I work with families when death has occurred. So I meet that family and I take what happens um, from a cemetery perspective and I work with the family to create um, whatever they need. Exactly. Whatever they need. Exactly. It takes a very special person to work under those conditions. What do you sort of, what bubbles up to help you do that? Because you have to have a lot of empathy and, and yet not get too caught up in it because you have to stay professional and help them through this. So for me, it's an opportunity to help somebody and to guide them when they're really in a vulnerable spot. We are licensed to work with the vulnerable sector of the community, so we're very cognizant of that. And you, you walk them through the decision making, you be prepared to explain it three or four times because sometimes it's a deer in the headlight yes. situation. Sure, of course. And it's uh -huh. easy to be kind to people when they're hurting. So it really helps to know that you're you're guiding them and helping them in their Unless it's where it comes from. Now initially, um, your studies Denise were in child yes. you were going yes. to be working with kids. I did work with kids for many, many years, and then in my 40s, I went back to university and got my degree oh, in child studies. Okay. Change lanes. Yeah, so mid, I did. Mid, uh, and then, life. yeah, exactly. And then when I um, was looking for work, a friend of mine who's a funeral director said, "Why don't you just come and work until you find a job in child studies?" And then 11 years later, <laughs> I'm not looking for work in child studies, so it's all good. And, and it is because I think what you've described is that the joy and job satisfaction is because you're being of service to people. Correct. And that's what we talk about here, Marlene, all the time is in this chapter of our life, when we're 40 plus, we want to look for how we can be of service in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, often we're looking at ambition, building our foundation, family, all those things. But at this stage, it really is about how can I ha have meaning? How can my life have meaning? So I think you've answered, you know, it takes a lot of courage too to do what you've done, to go back to school in your 40s. Mm -hmm. and get another degree and then come out with a clear goal and then to shift lanes and just shift it all again. <laughs> so Denise, are there actual trends in funerals? So there is. Um, we're seeing more people being uh, cremated and, and some kind of celebration around a cremation because the urns is a little bit 
less blatant in terms of compared to having a casket. Um, we're seeing celebrations of life that, that means bringing personal objects of the person that we loved into the room, um, having it a little bit more casual, having eulogies that talk about memories um, in, in a little bit less formal way. Um, we, we are licensed where I work and that is, the, that is a, a difference because it's nice to be able to um, raise a toast to, mm -hmm. to the loved one, so there's right. a little bit of a difference there, and it's also safer, realistically it's safer, right. um, so we're seeing that. Um, I guess that trend of, you know, cremation in the urn responds to people's interest in, in minimizing their carbon footprint ultimately, you yeah, know, that's the, a, that's there's a, a there's a, a, a forward-thinking idea that we, how many of us are going to be like, how, how are we going to keep doing this? Mm -hmm. So we have yeah. to find new ways to, to celebrate people's lives, but without taking away that important piece of the community gathering, right? And, and without, without going into this in too much detail, when the Pope a couple of years ago said, um, it's okay to be cremated, Previous to that, the Catholic Church had said no to cremation. So when the Pope stepped in and said yes, and I think that there's a carbon footprint piece to that, okay. then more people also started saying, okay, I'm going to do the cremation. Right. And that's, that's a different thing. And we talked about trends and everything, but I know when my father died many 45 years ago, it was very important to have the visitations because mm -hmm. it gave that opportunity to, us to adjust, to hear the stories. And so many times we are not doing that. So it, the, 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 the journey of grief when you lose someone starts at that time when everybody gathers to support you. And when you realize that you've got a community, you've got people, you've got family, you've got friends that are all walking alongside of you during that process, and that's when your journey starts. And a lot of people say, oh, don't worry about me, I don't want anything, but it's the family that's left behind. They're the ones that need it. Exactly. Yeah. So if it's a full visitation, if it's a celebration of life, and it's a, and it's, you know, going to a restaurant and sharing a meal, and sharing stories about the person. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Right? And yes. laughing and, and yes. crying and, yes. and, you know, that one joke that they always say, right? <laughs> yes. Like, we all have yes. one, yes. Yes. right? That helps the people that are left yes. behind. To right. know that they're not alone, that we've all we, we, we either all lost somebody or we're going to. I mean, sure. That's the reality. So and telling the stories keeps their spirit exactly. with us. Yeah. It keeps them in the room, and that's also, I think, important that exactly. they're not forgotten because yeah. they're not physically with us. Exactly. Um, can I ask you an etiquette question? Absolutely. Because one of the things I find, and people tell me this, on the ongoing, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to go to a wake because they don't know what to say. Right. Or you're the person grieving, and peop and you're missing your loved one who was maybe very ill at the end. People say to you, "Oh, well, it's a blessing," but that's not the right answer for me. So, can you give me some or us some tips on how to handle this? Um, from a personal perspective, because I have lost my mom and I've lost my stepdad, um, I'm sorry. My condolences. Um, I can't imagine what you're going through. But my heart goes out to you. Even if you've lost somebody, you still can't imagine what they're going through. Because yeah. your journey is different from my journey. Right. Um, you can you can say if, if you say it's a blessing and you're receiving that message and you don't feel like it is, it's just have you just know that they don't know what to say and that they're just sending their love in the way that they know how to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have sat down with a gentleman who lived with his mom and his mom died at 94 and he had his mom his whole life. And so to say it's a blessing that she mm -hmm. passed was not, that's not, it, that's not for him, right? And then I've sat down with a family who lost their 94-year-old parent who said, I'm really happy that they left us now before they suffered too much. So yeah. there isn't a right Let them answer. lead the way. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. just just know that I'm giving you my condolences and giving you my, 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 my good high. wishes, my Empathy, sympathy, yeah. my... And, and what do you say to people who say, oh, I can't go to a funeral, I can't go to a wake, it makes me whatever, uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah. It's really not about them. It's not about them. And if you can't go to the funeral, can you reach out in some other way? Send a card, send a, send a message. I know social media is a big thing now, and you're sending a lot more messages now. That's a touchy subject. Can I just, can I just say, please do not on any social media mention somebody's passing before a family has posted it, right. it's very tricky to step into that and there may be people that don't know. Yes. So, 
And you know, that type of public grieving, I mean, we could have a whole other conversation yes, about do. grieving on social media. Yeah. Anyway, Denise, you're a superstar. Yeah. Uh, thank thank you. you for informing us, right, Marty? Yeah. We needed, yeah. we needed yes. some guidance here. Well, we certainly can tell during our experience with you dashing down the Danube, you always had such empathy, such kindness that 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 you came out of you all the time. So you're really in a perfect career to to really help with people who are going through this. And so cheers to you. you. Thank Keep you. up the great work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy the day.